Hello, I am Dr. P. S. Kannan. I like to present engineering exercise for the technical students. This involves three stages. The first stage is the students are understanding the topic of a subject explained by the professor in the classroom lectures for which the communication and language is very important. After understanding, they should imagine to realize the subject matter of the presentation. This is the second stage. Then they should go to the laboratories and physically verify by experimenting to learn. This is the third stage. If these three stages are cyclic will lead to creativity in engineering. Today, these three stages are required for proper engineering exercise. There is a difference between research and development and technological development. In research and development, researcher taking a particular topic and whatever published in that particular topic recently go through it and consider a basic publication of a journal paper and then he is trying to make an analysis and he imposed his ideas and he tried to give a new approaches or methods and then prove that the results are good comparing with the existing basic paper and they published in the journal. Finally, they submitted as a report to the universities and they got PhD and this is actually research and development. Whereas, the technological development means the different technologies are combined together and derived a own technology, it is called a technological development. When the research outcome is being implemented practically, then it is a technology. So, by combining two or three technology and derive a new technology or a new technology come out from a research, we can say it is a technological development. So, the country is needed, particularly India is needed technological development. This is the difference between the uh, research and development and technological development. Uh, the technological development leads to a award of the patent. Thank you.